Let's take a look at using two masks made in Photoshop, one for the left hand side of the image and one for the right. Now these two masks could be made in PTE AV Studio because they have straight edges, but there are other masks that may require software editors like Photoshop. These are just single masks, but of course once we've made one, we can just invert it and we have the opposite side. Let's open up PTE AV Studio. So with a 15 second slide duration, which should be time enough to do what we want to do, I'm going to go into the objects and animation screen, bottom right corner, right click, I'm going to add a frame. Within the frame, I'm going to add a mask. The mask is going to be a child of the parent. Right click, add the mask. The mask I want is this one, because I want to select mask left, which I'll double click to select. The mask content is the image we want to display. So select that, right click and add it. And I'll add the hot air balloon. Now, let me close that up because all we need to do now is select the frame and do the exact same thing, but this time use the right mask. To speed things up, I've created the other mask and I've used the properties tab just to rename them so we can identify them easily. What we need for the left side is for keyframes. I'm going to use keystrokes here using Alt and Insert. There's the four keyframes that I require. So I'm going to move one to the end and the other two I need to space out and that's the time for the animation to take place. I'm going to choose something like three seconds here, but it's not crucial and it's a personal choice anyway. So let me choose something like that. So now between this keyframe and this keyframe, I need to introduce the animation I want. So let's select the first keyframe go to the animation, rotate Y, there you can see the movement. Let's tuck it well back. Let's make it around minus 79. Now we need to do the same with the right side. So let's select that, Alt, Insert, Insert, Insert. I'm going to change this straight away because remember on the other it was 78. So here I can put 78 without the minus and we've got a mirror image. Now I can just move these into place. It's a good idea here to hold the control key and select both because now you can see all of the keyframes and they will snap to the ones just on the other side. So we've got both of these now lined up nicely. Let me put my cursor back to the start and there you can see what we've just created. What we need to do now is to go on and do exactly the same in reverse from these two keyframes to these. Whether you want to fold it towards you or away, personal choice. Now I've gone ahead and done that because we've got exactly the same here as what we did at the start. And if I select the keyframes, you can see it's minus 78 for one and 78 for the other. And I even corrected a little mistake I made at the start where I put one at minus 79 and the other one at 78. So I've corrected that. So we've got the animation created, but what we also need to consider is speed. Now I do have a video dedicated to that, but in the keyframe that starts any animation, I'm gonna choose some speed here. On the front of the animation or the start of the animation, I would be selecting Modifier, Animation Speed, Slow Down for both of those keyframes. But at the other end, I would be choosing this keyframe and I would be adding Animation Speed, Accelerate. I'm going to carry on and do the rest and we'll take a preview. If you want to add a border to the two sides of your animation, select the image part of the mask in the mask content Go to the properties and you can tick the border and add the width and the color of your choice. Don't forget to do the other side. If I wanted to change the size or add rotation while the animation is taking place, then I would do that using the frame. Here I'll just add or reduce the size a little bit 
and we can try a full screen preview. What I've done with the original animation we made is to create three other variations from it. I've also made four slide styles that you can download below. You can add those to your own images and you can see the slight variations in the settings I've used. Take a look at the frame parent because that controls the rotation and the size. This is all about just experimenting. I'll see you next time.